Whatever. We got some bricks and some scrap and looks like I just wanted them out of the yard. So there you go. Okay, hopefully you can see this. We got the GoPro out on a tri little tripod. First try at a little rocket stove. Been watching some YouTube. Figure give it a try. I think it's a good idea. You know, grid down situation, power outage, you need to boil water, whatever. You got some bricks and some scrap and some twigs, you can at least boil water. So from what I saw, I didn't really go into deep detail of really watching how everybody, there's so many different ways to do it. So you start off with three brick like this, break you a brick in half, the best way you can. I just took a hammer and started hitting it right in the middle and it just popped. So put that one like that. <clears throat> and what that's gonna be, this is gonna be your little air chamber. Then I think you go two up. So stack one like this, one like that, and one like that. No, maybe like this. Yeah, like this. Yep, there we go. So this one is gonna be floating in the air, but when you put it all the way over here, it's not really gonna hit on that brick per se, but when you lay this brick on it, it locks it in. So that's one up, and then I had some metal that I had scrounged, had it laying out back in the backyard, so I just cut it to fit, put it right here. That's where your wood's gonna go on top of that. And then I think what you do now is you make sure you overlap the other brick, the line in the brick, like that, like this. And you take your other half brick, put the flat part against that flat part. Who cares what it looks like? Looks like, right? I mean. You can make this look really cool later if you want to. So then again, I'm just gonna let that hang right there, overlapping this crack with the brick. Hopefully you can see that. Overlap that crack with the brick. Crack, seam, same thing with here. And then just repeat all the way up. So now you just keep repeating it over that seam. Over that seam, over that one, over that one. Can't really mess it up. I mean, you, even if you didn't st stack it over the uh, seams, it'll probably still work because you ain't going super high with it, but it just kind of makes it stronger, kind of somewhat locks them in. Doesn't have to be pretty. These bricks were free. I got these bricks a year ago, years ago from the guy who just wanted them out of the yard. So there you go. I had some uh, old signposts that were taken down and I saved them. Uh, these were just little ones, so I just cut it in half and filed the edges. And I figure I'll put that right there. Put that right there because you don't want to smother the hole with your pot or your pan. You want to be elevated. And I thought, man, with all these holes, that's going to give it even more oxygen to get in. I got an old nasty beat up pan. Bam. So now I'm going to be on the lookout for uh, just some old pots and pans that, you know, the plastic's kind of concerning me that you ain't going to just destroy because you're going to get it all sooty and everything else. But anyways... That should work. And then I've got my, uh, just a pile of twigs. And uh, so that's what it's gonna look like. Let's see if I can get you down in there. Yeah. Anyways, we'll be able to see it. Once I get it going, you'll be able to see it. The wife is cooking some uh, muffins in there. Check that out. I think they're probably about done. Lock the sun home about 340 maybe.
Okay. So I got a five gallon bucket full of water, just in case something happens. And uh, we'll give it a try. I really gotta invest in a camera because with the GoPro, the thing is so small, you can't really see what you're looking at. And then when I'm sitting right here and I'm all by myself, I don't know what it's picking up. <laughs> so I'm like recording it and just hoping it works. But so be it. So I think all we really need is just to take a little bit of this, shove it down in the air hole first, I guess. And then take some uh, little twigs. Yeah, you might be able to just throw them in there. That's probably easier when they're all weird shaped like that. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. You guys should try it. Um, go watch other people's videos too because some people will get really in explaining everything and showing you really good camera angles. But I was just watching it last night and I don't know if you guys are like me, you get hooked on watching a video and you go down a rabbit hole and then, you know, two, three hours later you've watched all kinds of, I was watching how to make a, a, uh, washing machine thing out of a bucket and a plunger to do your laundry in case the grid's down and but I think this is really important because granted if you live in an apartment this probably ain't gonna work but if anywhere else you know if you have your own home or even you know you can go out in the yard hey if the grid's down man and you need to boil water or you need to heat something up this is get some twigs some bricks some pieces of metal an old crappy pan I mean this is all beat up and dirty but I'm gonna hit some swap meats and uh thrift stores and look for a better one but yeah I think it's important give it a try right now why you're not counting on this 100% to get you going play around and then this is what I'm going to use to get it going okay they say it smokes pretty good at first until it kind of gets going and you get a yeah I think that's gonna work pretty cool Woo! all right so I don't know if you can hear it but that's probably not gonna look very good angle wise okay I don't know if you can see that now that's burning pretty good so I definitely want to make like a little hearth or something out front here so that you can uh, get these pieces going these you can just throw right down in there and All right, so pretty cool. Let's get some water on this. Obviously, this ain't ideal to be you want to boil a lot more water than that. But this will give you an idea of how it works. And then, I mean, little twigs. Little twigs. And uh, just keep shoving them in there. And I guess once you get a little bit of coals going in there, you can put bigger pieces. Thicker pieces. I think they say about the uh, size of your thumb is as big as you want to go. Probably something like that. Probably be about the biggest you want to go. that for my fire poker but yeah I mean just think of you could cook on this if you had an old beat up barbecue grill you could put that on the top of those and cook you up some hamburgers and steaks you know as long as you're using decent wood I mean you don't want to be like using eucalyptus or anything because 
that's poisonous but if you had some pine or so make sure your twigs are not uh, poisonous to cook over yeah I just keep shoving that in that's pretty cool man and just take the brick throw it on the side of your house you know stack it on the side of your house and whenever you need to, you're ready to just pull it out build it real quick I mean it took nothing to build it I mean the hardest part was splitting that brick you know it might take you three or four times to get the brick split right but once you do you only need two of them set this on the back side of the house stack it up and you're done and you always have a, a way to cook something or boil some water or heat up some soup or whatever if the whole grid's down and you know you have an electric stove or you're on propane and you're out of propane that's another reason why we got that uh what you would call it the sun oven same same scenario here that sun oven is cool now that's her second thing we've cooked we're gonna cook she's making some meatloaf right now we're gonna put that in there and have some meatloaf for dinner um and in the summertime it's great because you don't have to heat up the house to you know cook some muffins or a cake or a meatloaf or what have you so it's just things to think about guys i, I definitely would get out here and try this anybody can do it if you got some younger kids have them i mean it's like stacking lego blocks man they'll probably have fun at it but you can really hear that pulling just keep shoving that in there that is pretty nifty and we're already starting to boil granted not a lot of water but yeah the pieces that are real little just down the hatch <laughs> heck man and clean up some of the nasty old twigs in your yard too That is pretty cool. I should have timed that, huh? That's got to be less than two minutes. I'm assuming. That is pretty darn cool. So anyways, <clears throat> just something I wanted to share with you guys and uh, give it a try. Do it right now. Have some fun with it while you're not counting on it 100% get some I mean you need these bricks I don't know 50 cents a piece maybe at Home Depot ah uh, nowadays four dollars a piece who knows pretty darn neat so you can heat some stuff up pretty quick All right, thanks for watching.